Hi kids, welcome back to G-Man Kid Zone. And today we're gonna read yet another 5 minute Christmas stories. Disney's Alice in Wonderland. A present for the Queen. It looks like Christmas, Alice said, gazing out her parlor window. One cold December afternoon, snow sparkled in the fields and on the branches of the pine trees. Outside, children were building a snowman. Alice thought about joining them, but the parlor was so warm and cozy. Alice heard. Perhaps it would be best to stay inside after all. <laughs> She's being lazy. Suddenly something hopped across the snow in front of Alice's house. It was a rabbit with white fur wearing a red coat. Alice sat up startled. Why is the white rabbit from Wonderland? She cried. It's lost, it's lost. The white rabbit wailed as he hurried past the house. Alice quickly put on her winter coat and ran outside after the rabbit. She caught up to him just as he was about to dive into a hole under a tree. Not so fast, Alice said. You're always running away. Whatever is wrong this time. Oh, you must let me through, the white rabbit cried. I've lost the queen's heart's Christmas present. If I can't find it, she'll have my head. Oh dear. That would be awful indeed, Alice said. Please let me help you find it. But the white rabbit simply dove down the hole without saying another word. Well, well, well. Alice followed the white rabbit. Down and down and down she fell until she landed with a thump. Alice saw the rabbit's fluffy tail disappear through a door. She hurried after him and found herself on a snowy path lined with evergreen trees. The white rabbit was gone, but Alice could see his footprints in the snow. Alice made her way down the path, admiring the lights on the trees. Then she noticed something. Why, there are fireflies, she exclaimed. Oh... Let's see what happens next. All at once, the footprints stopped. I have lost him again, Alice said with a sigh. Lost who? Someone asked. A toothy smile appeared in one of the trees, followed quickly by a purple striped cat around the smile. Cheshire cat! Alice cried happily. Maybe you can help me. The white rabbit has lost the queen's present and... That's a lost. What? The cat interrupted. I thought you said you lost a he? Alice frowned. Usually she quite enjoyed riddles, but she always had trouble explaining herself to the Cheshire cat. I didn't lose a what? She said. The white rabbit did. And now I have lost him. Suddenly the Cheshire cat disappeared. I can't help you with your lost who? He called out, but I can help you with your lost what? Try the mad header. Okay. Alice looked around. She knew the header wasn't on the path behind her, so she continued forward. Soon she heard music. Deck the balls with balls of jelly. Alice emerged in the clearing. The Mad Hatter and the March Hare stood with their arms around each other singing. They stopped when they saw Alice. Alice, the Mad Hatter cried, come join us, we are singing Christmas Harolds. Christmas Harolds? Alice asked, confused. Don't you mean Christmas Carols? What does Carol have to do with it? The March Hare said. Everyone knows Harold wrote all the best Christmas songs. And with that, the March Hare and Mad Hatter began to sing again. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tea, with milk and cream we can drink thee. But that's not how the song goes at all, Alice said. And anyway, I don't have time to sing. The White Rabbit has lost the Queen's Christmas present and... 
Suddenly, the Mad Hatter jumped in front of Alice holding a teapot and a teacup. Cold cocoa? He offered, handing Alice the teacup. Don't you mean hot cocoa? Alice replied. <laughs> this reminds me of a riddle, the Mad Hatter said. What keeps your head cool in the summer and warm in the winter? A head, of course, Alice replied. Now please, I need your help. The Queen's present is lost. With a twinkle in his eye, the Mad Hatter took off his hat. Sitting atop his head was a large box wrapped in Christmas paper. And lying on top of the box was a tiny, sleepy Dormouse. There you are, the Mad Hatter said, grabbing the Dormouse. And here you are, the March Head said, handing Alice the present. Oh, thank you, Alice cried. Now, if you would be so kind, but the Mad Hatter and March Hare weren't listening to her anymore. They had burst into song again. On the first day of Christmas, my best friend gave to me a steaming pot of lovely tea. Shaking her head, Alice left the clearing. As she made her way through the trees, she saw the white rabbit's footprints and reappeared. Alice didn't want to lose the tracks again. She carefully followed them all the way to the queen's castle. As she approached the gates, the queen's guards grabbed her. The queen's got a reward out for your head, one of the guards said. The guards brought Alice to the throne room where the white rabbit was busy apologizing to the queen. I am sorry, your majesty, he said. I had your present and then I lost it. The queen had heard enough. Off with his head, she shouted. No, Alice cried, breaking away from the guards. The present isn't lost. I found it. Oh. The queen glared at Alice. Oof, oof with her hair, she yelled. The king coughed quietly and placed his hand on the queen's arm. Perhaps you should open the present first, dear. He suggested meekly. The queen eyed the present. I suppose I could, she said. Tearing off the box wrapping, her eyes lit up as she pulled a small Christmas tree out of the box. As the queen of hearts admired her Christmas gift, a large green appeared in the air next to Alice. Now might not be the worst time to slip away, it said. Alice nodded and quietly snuck out of the room. As soon as she was... Safely out of sight, she began to run, but she slipped on a path of ice and hit her head. Everything went black. When Alice opened her eyes, she found herself back in a parlor. She yawned sleepily. What a strange dream I had just had, she said. Stretching, Alice looked out of the window. Just then her eye caught the Finnish snowman. It was wearing a familiar hat and holding a teacup. <laughs> Alice frowned. Perhaps it hadn't been a dream after all. Merry Christmas to all of you. Hope you like the story. You know the drill. Hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to G-Man Kids Zone for yet another amazing story. Until next time, this is G-Man saying bye-bye.